going to show you how to stain your slides. So first, what you want to have is your slides of interest. So in this case, it is the, our brain slices on our microscope slide, as you can see. Um, you can watch a video on how to uh, slice uh, using a cryostat or a microtome, or whichever you prefer. We have both videos on our channel. Um, once you have those, you want to put them in this rack, like so, and you want to prepare your solutions before you start, of course. So you have your 70% ethanol, your 95% ethanol, your crystal violet, your um, deionized water, not distilled water, so D capital I H2O, and your 100% ethanol. You want to make sure that you label each and every one because they're all clear. So that's gonna cause issues if they're not labeled. Um, also parafilm because as we know alcohol will evaporate and to reduce the risk of contamination. And since crystal violet is light sensitive you want to wrap it with aluminum foil as you prepare everything if it takes longer. Um, so let's get started. You want to first dunk your slides in 70% ethanol for two minutes. Um, I suggest using your phone as a timer or just looking at the clock, whichever. Uh, so here we go. You want to move it gently for those two minutes, so up and down. Here we go. So let's see the clock and we will go through this process really quickly. Oh, I can look at the video for the time. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. After the two minutes, you want to place your slides in the 95% ethanol for two minutes. So gently move it up and down again. And you also want to make sure that your slides are spaced out uh, evenly um, in this rack, so every other two um, spaces so that it doesn't get stuck together. You want to make sure that you're doing all of this on a um, white paper, parchment paper, um, so that your station doesn't get dirty and full of alcohol or crystal violet. Okay, so the next step is to put it in the crystal violet for one minute. Less than one minute is preferred because it will get dark really quickly. Um, so you can do it about 45 seconds, um, so here it goes. You want to rinse it in deionized water for one minute, and you want to do it twice. And each time you want to use clear deionized water, so you're going to go again, dump this out, and get a new one after the first one. And one more minute. After the two minutes of deionized water, you want to go back to the 70% ethanol for two minutes and the 95% ethanol for two minutes. So here we go. If you see here, it looks a little bit dark, darker than normal or darker than you might want it to be. So you want to do the 75% and 95% uh, ethanol again until it becomes lighter um, and each for two minutes again. If you find that it's still dark after repeating the 70% and the 95% ethanol for two minutes each, um, I would suggest that next time you leave it in crystal violet for 30 seconds or less than what you did previously. Um, so for this case, I did it for 45 seconds. It's still dark after repeating those steps. Uh, so next time I'll do the 30 seconds instead of 45. Uh, but I'll continue and repeat the 70 and the 95% ethanol. Uh, until it gets lighter. Fun times, fun times, science, you know, trial and error, all part of research. So once you've repeated those steps or it was great the first time, you want to put it in 100% ethanol for 30 seconds to get all the impurities out and 
almost there. So you have just finished staining your slides. Congratulations. So the next step is to let it dry. And while you let it dry, get your permount ready so that you can put your cover slip on so that it preserves your slide. And then you can look at it under a microscope and for weeks to come so that you can enjoy your hard work. If you see that they're not as dirty or as purple uh, from the crystal violet, you can preserve your um, alcohol, your ethanol, uh, in another closed container. Um, so, Ooh, not this one. But actually, the 100% ethanol can be preserved. So look at that. Look at that. So we're gonna pause and get everything ready. So make sure you clean up everything. Um, make sure the crystal violet goes back into the container, which is this one right here. You want to use a funnel, a glass funnel preferably. Um, if not, just use a plastic one and then rinse it with none other than ethanol to remove it, you know? What I'm, how to reuse them. Got that. Got it. Cool. Um, and pretty much it. Here's a mini tutorial within a tutorial. This is how you want to put your crystal violet into, back into the container. You want to use a funnel and pour it into, and you preferably would want to do this over a sink because spills can happen and will happen, especially with this square, rectangle, rectangular storage glass container. So, so after you stain your slides, you want to cover them to preserve them. Um, so you want to per use permount from the cabinet, uh, transfer pipette, and the cover glass, uh, 22 by 50, since that's the biggest one, to cover all of your specimen that you stained. So here I already started, you want to put the permount in between the specimen so you don't damage your specimen and you kind of want to spread it around. Make sure you don't get too much because once you put the cover slip on, it's going to spread outside of the cover slip and get that messy too. Place it gently on the slide and then you press down, making sure that your specimen is covered with permount. The next one Press down, make sure you get a Kim paper and just wipe the excess off before it dries so that it doesn't ruin the specimen or it doesn't get in the way of the specimen when you're looking at it under a microscope. So there you have it. You, your slides are ready to go can store them in a microscope slide box. Like and subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.